Yellow. Welcome everybody to the EgoByte 83 channel where the past never dies. I'm of course your host, EgoByte. And tonight we are going to continue in The Walking Dead Season 3, The New Frontier, um, Episode 4. It's the second to last episode of Season 3. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm a little bit worried though because my controller is not powered up properly yet. Like, it's, it's, it has... I forgot to uh, charge it, so I'm gonna have to. I mean, there isn't really that much going on in between things, you know. Like, I might as well just have it lying on the table. The problem is, the cord is very short, so I can't like have it here. Like, the cord won't stretch all the way here, so I'm just gonna have it like there. Hope that nothing like particularly action-filled is gonna happen to me in the first part of the game uh, or the episode I mean alright so there's two episodes left so we are going to do this one today and then tomorrow the last one then we are at Thursday Thursday, I'm thinking, um, I've got some special things coming up, actually. I'm thinking we are going to go back to uh, Blizzard Classics. I am a little bit interested in, in moving on to um, um, StarCraft 2. We left, we left off with StarCraft, like, three years ago or something like that so um, it would be cool to actually go through that um, I love that story um, at least the first game and the uh, expansion as well so I'm thinking about doing that on Friday maybe we'll do some kind of multiplayer thing like maybe Apex or something like that I'm actually going to ask and see if like Tom or, or Fartknocker is going to be uh, on for uh, uh, something on Friday. I don't know what exactly. Um, but yeah, also we'll see... Uh... Oh, Tom! Hey! <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> hey, welcome. You can't on Friday. Oh, okay. I gotcha. What, what's going on on Friday? Are you going out? <laughs> Alright, well... Where are you going? Rida Jakob. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, and uh, unfortunately, I am going out on Saturday. So... Oh, the var Jakobs berg. Ja, men... Säg inte att det är gamla Rida Jakob, alltså. Då är jag... Nej! Då är jag ass. Bull. Oh my god, that hit way too close to home. Det är typ det enda stället jag känner till Jakobsberg. All right, well, that's unfortunate, but uh, um, we'll make it up somehow, someday. Um, but we'll see what happens. Jakobs kök och bar. Okay. Kan det vara det som var gamla Rida Jakob? För jag, hört, jag hörde typ att Rida Jakob blev så här renoverad och omgjord, jag vet inte. Det ligger ganska nära tåget, alltså tågstationen, alltså på man kommer i, typ där på på äh, torget typ. Ah. So who are you who are you going out with? Alex, Niklas? Ja, då är det det stället. It's good to see you again, man. Mm -mm -mm. All right, thicker than water, episode four. Here we go. Where did we leave off? Alex and Nicholas. Okay, <laughs> yeah, all another. Er no band som spelar då eller? Do 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 do. Vad är det för band? 
and by the way, cool. Where did we leave off? We ended... Oh, is this a flashback? Obviously. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I okay, haven't bats cool. since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh yeah. Disdain. Just this thing makes me feel better. And mono scream. Alright. Cool. You doing okay? Uh I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Well. Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign oh, my baseball, that would be so awesome. Uh, I, I watch you play all the time. All right, fine. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. Uh. <laughs> Just your name is fine. <laughs> don't, don't date it or anything. Alright, fine. <sighs> we'll take the high road. <sighs> Hope you like it. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this! You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Yeah. Let's get back to baseball. LG put... Oh, are we? Oh, oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, LG Petrov Memorial March. Six, six on no, no, Shiko Gordon's the Obama. Old singer from Entombed is before the bands. So, are you really like this all knowing, like, metalhead now? Because you're name dropping, and I'm like, I don't know, you know? <laughs> Well, I I kind of get it, and I respect that you like have this like. But are you like into that world now? <laughs> nope. Okay. It just sounds like you're very like very knowledgeable. <laughs> Suck it, names. Oh, it's out of here! Holy cow! You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. Yeah. Because we got you banned. Try. Okay. Son of a bitch. Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm <laughs> serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Oh, oh, sorry, David. Look, it's cool you're trying to cheer me up. Really? I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation. And avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Crush it! Oh, Garcia's on fire! I think your ego's boosted plenty. <laughs> Come on, we got banned. We have a right to at least, you know, like, live it out in the cage. Uh, stop on Facebook and Alex and Nicholas talked a lot about him, so I learned his name. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, it's cool if you, if you're like into the whole thing, you know. That's that's awesome, you know. Bara inte bli en sån här, vet, blekvit, svarthårig, tatuerad tår här, liksom, och bara. You know what? Everything is hell. We're all living in, you know, like. <laughs> okay. Dude, you gotta listen to this like 
dark metal, like, no, like doom metal thing. It's not great, but that's the world we live in. <laughs> Doom-metal måste typ vara den sämsta genren som finns inom, alltså subgenren. Ja, ah, skitsamma. Men i alla fall. Skål, Tom. Skål. And happy that you're here. And uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, what do you like when you, in your spare time? No, just kidding. Uh, how has the whole, how's your uh, job hunting going? Okay, okay. Well, I mean, fair play, fair play. <laughs> Next time, we go oh, to the back. shooting range. I don't really shoot, but I do. And I'm good at it. Ow! Fuck! You did? You, st you started today? You got a practique plot! Uh, is it like uh, painting? P uh, the paint paintbrushes and everything? See? You see? What does that mean? What does that mean? See? See you to pull me in the vest. Oh, oh, are you doing that now? So you you can't answer, or is that your practice plus? Wait, how is it the practique plots if you if you're doing your own? What? What? Yeah, take it from the top. Take it from the top. <laughs> you gotta shut up. Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Oh, come on. Don't be a wuss. <laughs> I used to tell you the same thing. You did? Yeah. Back when we were younger. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Crush it! Oh yeah. my god, the crowd is going wild! I mean, if we had the option to crush it, why wouldn't we? Um, oh, det är ett ställe där man får läsa olika saker som till exempel sy med maskin, renovera möbler. Oh, cool, cool. So, it's your first day. How do you like it so far? I mean, you get to to sew on a patch onto your vest. That's cool. But after that, I mean, I'm sure there's like other stuff you're gonna be able to do as well. Excuse me, excuse me. Pardon me, pardon me. That was not my intention. <laughs> I got it. Ooh, my back. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. Oh, come on, you piece of shit. This has nothing to do with you, David. This has nothing to do with him. He's like thinking that, oh my god, I hate those people. People who always need to turn things into competitions. Couldn't you just let us you know, have a little, you know, fun. Because we are the ones who got banned, not you, you selfish be- Okay. Um, I get too emotional when I play these kinds of games. Uh, I like it so far. That's great, Tom. I hope it, like, brings you somewhere. Where is it? Is it somewhere, like, close? Is it, like, in, in the city? Going to switch the phone. Okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, my bad. I need to- I need to lean back. Oh, oh shit, I can't. David, what's wrong? Come back. I came here to reconnect. Instead, you just want to show me up. Oh, for fuck's sake. What Why does everything on? have to be a competition David, with you? I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. Screw you. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. I want to say drop the attitude. For yourself. But I can't. You tried to help me. Yeah, let me help you. You really want to help? All right. Drive me down to the recruitment office next week. The army? My job. 
sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. Back in the army. Um, old Gallop felt it in Tabu. Okay. Tabu. That's not too far away from you, right? Like where you live. I remember it was like a... It was really hard to get to where you and your side live. It was like, uh, you're not on the Pendletorx linear, what the hell, you know? <laughs> I had respect. Oh, by the way, I, I wanted to ask you, um, is the... Um, uh, is the uh, Ruslagsbana finally going all the way to Valentuna now? Is it like working again? Hey, you know what? Yeah, do what you need to do. The army could be good for you. I was expecting more of an argument. <laughs> Things between me no. and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left. Seemed like that would be best for everyone. Oh my god, he's fishing so much for some, like, encouragement. He didn't want to reconnect, he wanted a pep talk. Um, I can send you info tomorrow about it. Oh yeah, sure, sure, absolutely. Cool, 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 cool. Well, uh, so, do you work there every, like, weekday? Like, Monday to Fridays? Um, and what, what times do you have? I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. I'm not gonna stand in your way. Well, all right then. <laughs> it's like trying. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Hey, you're a grown you man. You need help from time to time. Yeah, you do. You, you make help, your own decis right? decisions. You won't leave her hanging. No, I, I won't. need to know that. In my mind. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. <sighs> Thank you. That's kind of a deadbeat dad thing to say, though. Not us, but but David. Like, you know, I need you, my brother, to be there for my family while I go away for a while. You know, like... <sighs> what? That's... Yeah. Um, tisdag och onsdag 10 till 13 så det kan vara chill, but we're going to extend the time later. Okay, awesome, awesome. Um, so what time is it today? It's t it's Tuesday today. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm like, uh. <laughs> all right. Well, cool, cool. I'm happy that things are going well for you, my dude. <laughs> I really mean it. We good? Yeah, we good. Good. Come on, let's get out of here. Buy your beer. Finally. Oh, I don't have any beer. I need to buy that before Saturday. Get in there. Jesus. I let you go. On the road, remember? Can't you help us now? Of course I remember. It's why I haven't shot you already. Oh, that's that, that guy. Helping you. Jones making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you tried to attack her. Oh, right, 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 hey, right, right, right. everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them... And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this. Wait, 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 wait. So the order comes from her attacking other settlements. How? Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. I, I, but I have no work tomorrow because it's it's building's dog for the staff there, so we don't have to come. All right, all right, cool, cool. So just chilling at home, you know? <laughs> oh, good lord, my back. Alltså jag svär, jag måste fan alltså gå ner i vikt. Det här är sjukt nu alltså. Jesus. But you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. You do anything she tells you to do, huh? Go along with whatever she says just to keep your place. It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. She needs all our help to keep this place safe. You boys want to make it out of here. 
Just relax and trust in the process. Ah, shit. BRB, all right. <laughs> trust in the process. This is bad. What are we gonna do? I never trusted Joan. I didn't think she'd turn on me like this. David, hey! I thought I had it handled. All of this is my goddamn fault. I should have seen it coming, but I dropped the ball. <laughs> Damn right it is. Nah. Joan lied. You couldn't have anticipated that. It was a sneak attack. I'm glad you see that. You may be the only one. I keep doing this, making the same stupid mistakes. You drove Kate away. You're still a hero to Gabe. Yeah. There's still a lot you can teach him. This world needs all the heroes it can find. That's my boy. Listen to me carefully. I don't care what's gonna happen to me. I'm most worried about Kate and Gabe. Oh. They gotta survive. Maybe no matter he's gonna what. die. Don't understand. Okay. You can count on them, okay? Kate's level head got us out of more than a few jams. Yeah. Okay. No matter what we do, Jones already poisoned this well. We've got to figure a way out of Richmond. All of us? All of us. This time tomorrow, we'll be together and safe. All right. Oh, let's hug him. Let's see if we can hug him. Maybe it's, it'll be You'll awkward. You never give up on anybody. And I'm not going to give up on you. Wow, we're really so committed glad to, to see you now. boys getting along. <sighs> Armed escort. You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not going to be a problem, are you? <laughs> I just want a calm discussion between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> but I like what you're trying to do. It's sad how we ended up here. But Clinton Lingard agree. You've become a problem. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Hey, then welcome back, you'll man. be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. Oh, are we gonna get a I chance laws, to expose Joe. her? You're the one breaking them. You might be. This place could have been something. Something good. And you ruined it. This place needs me to keep it safe. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. Are they, and though? And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. Ah, oh, shit. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions. In <gasps> private. Oh, Bring don't tell me... Us. Don't tell me she's gonna try to turn him against... Like, you know... I wonder. Screw this. Gotta get out of here. Okay, so we don't have a ch choice, do we? Richmond Dragonflies. Uh, I want it to be 26th of April, because then the Overwatch 2 closed beta is coming. And I have a chance to get it. Oh, really? Cool, cool. So, if they release Overwatch 2, is Overwatch 1 going to be free? <laughs> Wait, how do they do that? How do they release a sequel to an already popular BR game? Won't that split the fan base? Won't that mess with their, like, you know, who who plays... I mean, if everybody's going over to Overwatch 2... Excuse me again. What happens to Overwatch 1? That will kill... Uh, uh, it's very strange. Very strange. That is also why I'm thinking there's never going to be a Grand Theft Auto 6. Because that would essentially kill Grand Theft Auto Online. You know, like, people wouldn't feel a need to play it because Rockstar would feel inclined to 
maybe even forced to make an online mode for Grand Theft Auto 6. I mean, they why wouldn't they? Because by then, Grand Theft Auto Online would be, like, outdated. But that's their biggest cash cow. They're not going to let that go. So there's literally no motivation for Rockstar to create a Grand Theft Auto 6. No way. No way. Okay, I'm just leaning a little bit more forward now because I need to, like, you know, arch my back a little bit. Plus, this controller cord is very short. GTA 6 is in development. I mean, has that been confirmed? That feels a little bit like, oh, you know what? There's so many rumors going on. Uh, look at the chair. No time to rest. Well, why could you look at the chair? All right, send me some links. I want to see that. If it's been confirmed. And not just, you know, talk by the water cooler. Why can't I look at that? Why are we looking at that and just not saying anything? And then it's like, what? what is the point of that? Faucet. Okay, well, there's something apparently we can do there. Gonna see if I can find. I'm not sure either. Alright. Well, if you find it, you can DM me on Discord, alright? You can send it to me there. Um, and I'll check it out. But it feels like I have not heard any official word about that. That doesn't look very sturdy. And it wouldn't really make any sense. Because of the whole thing, I said, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that pipe looks loose. Ouch. Um. Okay, grab it. Oh, okay. Oh, is that supposed to be our weapon? Okay. Oh, we can stand on a bench. Do those boards come loose? Oh yeah, uh, what was it? D uh, does the, uh, did you say yes to uh, uh, the Ruslugs Bana being full op fully operational again? It would be weird if it wasn't. It's been a long time now. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. <laughs> uh, nothing useful here. Uh, okay. Could squeeze through there. Bullshit. I mean, okay, maybe you, but certainly not me. Oh, we can kick? No, I, I think... Let's check the faucet again. There's something here. Well, that's about the kind of day I'm having. Uh, well, I have to... I have to your place someday. I have... I have to come to your place someday, you mean? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Especially now that we... Oh, yeah, by the way, have you been, um... Have you been vaccinated now? Like, how many times... How many... How many vaccinations... Va how many shots? Three. <coughs> Same here. Nope. We're the three. We're the three groups. High five. High five. <laughs> Stand on. Why could we kick that? Hmm. I'm not gonna get up there from this bench. No. Ugh. So. Mm -hmm. Wait. Need a way to get on top of those lockers. So we got a screw, or we got, we got a faucet knob, and we got a pipe. There's nothing else. Wait, can we do anything else here? Been a long time since I hit the showers. Ooh, and I could use one. Too bad there's no running water in here. That's the thing with the Walking Dead franchise. Oh, of course, we can take the stool. But have you, have you thought about it? Like... In the Walking Dead franchise, whenever you watch the series and all that, 
can you imagine how they must smell? Because they never shower, they never bathe, you know? They're, they're out there on the run, on the road, trying to survive, trying to scavenge food. They must smell horribly, you know? Like... <laughs> Grab it. There we go. <laughs> Very good, Javi. You've basically accomplished what every kindergarten kid can do. Climb. <laughs> Nobody heard that. Really? Okay. Not strong enough! Not strong enough! I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, Jesus, you scared me. <laughs> Where did they take Dad? I don't know yet. Help me get out of here. These bars are loose. Help me pry them off. <laughs> Come on, kid. I can't do it. You can do can it. Can you help? Yeah, together. Home team. Nice go. work, Gabe. Now, give me a hand. If you're wondering why I'm sitting like this, very close to the camera, and just arching my way up this, it's just because I need, like, to relieve my back a little bit. Um, it actually feels kind of good sitting like this. Trophy earned. Faces in the crowd. Nice, nice. BTWW, okay. <laughs> What's all that noise? What do you think? It's a herd. They're outside the walls. Jesus. This way. Come on. Oh. I mean, Richmond is probably gonna fall. This is gonna end with Richmond falling to the to the undead, most likely. Kate didn't want to stay at Dad's house. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. How, she sent me to find you. How did she, like, they hide out? motivate that? Thank God for Eleanor. She's a lifesaver. I've lost she around five Kate. kilos. Oh, congratulations, man. I was pretty scared. Me too, buddy. Me too. We should probably keep moving. Are you, like, exercising or, or shit like that? I can't believe you found me. I, I, could I looked everywhere. Too. <laughs> nice work. Thank you. They still got your dad, though. He's gonna be okay, right? I mean... Kid, how the people. hell should I know? They're just arguing, aren't they? They wouldn't do anything to him. I'm working on that. To tell you the truth, things don't look so good for him right now. What? Then we have to help him. I mean, I at least we're being honest here. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> but everybody is, the is exercising today. Not today, but like these days. All clear. Come on. Except for me. I'm still just a couch potato. He keeps pushing us to leave. You have to make her stay. We have to stay until Dad's free. I mean, Kate has we no sales. Dad here. Not after we found him again. I'll talk to her. I'll try to convince her. Good. It's important. I mean, I will. Hold up. I will try to convince her. Trying to go uh, with my dog. Ah, oh, cool, man. Cool. That's good. That's very. That's healthy. And I feel like such a hypocrite saying, talking about things that are healthy. You know, like. <laughs> While not being at le at the very least, like, not being healthy at all. Everything's gone wrong here, hasn't in it? In the slightest. We should be safe in this town. You shouldn't be a prisoner. People are scared. They don't know who's in charge or who to trust. I trust you, Kate, and Dad. That's it. What about Trip? Ow, my back. That's Eleanor's place. We made it. Oh, wow, that's a massive Great. place. Let's get in there. Oh, okay. 
I mean, if this, like, wire oh, was, was longer, close. yeah, I could actually, lo uh, you know, lean back on so the couch, before. but, eh. What are they up to? Are there longer, like, charge wires for the PS4 controller? Because the, the ones that came with the console is, like, extremely short, like two meters or something. Oh, now the title. Okay, alright, fine. <laughs> oh, good lord. The Walking Dead, a new frontier. Episode 4. Okay, what are they building? Are those solar panels? That's pretty cool though. Shabazz Shah. It's micro USB, so you can buy a longer micro USB and still use it. Are you sure? There aren't like any any um, special things that go in this special wire for the PS4. It's just a simple micro USB, right? Micro USB to USB A. Whatever that standard USB format is. Episode 4, Thicker Than Water. Yes. Elf, I've been thinking hard about this. And That's Trip. I really think we should be a thing. He's rehearsing. I'm sorry. Oh, I no. I don't know if I feel like that. <gasps> that way. He's still pissed at me? Just shut up while I'm hugging you. Would you be happy never seeing me again? So what about me? Trip. I just can't do this now. Oh. Hey. Uh, hey. Trip. Look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh hey. <laughs> Awkward. Where have you been? Uh Joan just locked us up. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Joan threw me and David in jail, if you can believe it. Great. So you gave these people more reason to hate us. Ooh. That fucking... Oh, I hate him. He's just like Kenny. He's... No, he's worse than Kenny. He's a fucking whiner. Whine, whine, bitch, complain. Whine, bitch... Okay, I'm taking this way too personally. I know. I know. I know. Wow. Just, oh my god. Oh shit, he's pissing me off. Jesus. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. No. What do we do? We just can't trust Joan. She's it trying to remove right. David from power by pinning murders on him. Told you we couldn't trust him. I'm sorry about what's going on with David. But we should have gotten out no, of here when we had quiet, the chance. Kate. We still need to get out of here, Javi. No, I'm sticking Let's up go. for my brother. No, I can't walk away. There's too much unfinished business here. Javi. Sorry. We can't leave yet. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Why doesn't he say, it's my brother, I can't leave? Talking about unfinished business. Oh, my back. Holy shit. Yeah, we're gonna, we're not going anywhere. 
Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Hey, we we didn't say it, it was Kate. That. We should have left when we had a chance. Oh, she's turning into my fucking mother. I'm sorry, Mom, I love you, but, like... <laughs> I, make no mistake, I love my mother. But one thing my mother does really well is to be, you know, that person that says, well, you should have done this. You should have done that. Well, you, you know, like, that, I hate that. That grinds me to the bone, and I'm like, yeah, that's not helping. That is not helping. Can we just focus on what we do now? But my mother just loves to, like, you know, look back and be all like, well, here's where you went wrong. Here is what you should have done. Why didn't you do that? You know, like that. I feel like I should be lying on a couch for this session. <laughs> Now we're stuck here. Well, the hurt's not my fault. Well, at least we're together. At least we're all still together. Look, this isn't a glass half full situation. It seems like we're in danger bitch, within bitch, this complain, place and complain. without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. I mean, is he is he saying that we should like? You know, take guns by force? I don't know. My mom, too. Yeah, what is it with parents? Especially moms. You know, just... I mean, th I, I'm sure they mean well. You know, they want us to learn. They want us to, like, learn from our mistakes. Look at your mistakes and remember this until next time. Okay, but it's like, yeah, mom, I, I know where I went wrong. Can we just move on? Like, we think a little bit quicker than they, you know, like... Ugh. David needs us. He's my brother, Kate. Yeah, finally. I have to. Okay. We have to rescue David. Damn straight we do. And we might have to face those muertos. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. The armory. Good idea. A small group should go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. That conflict is still coming, you know. We've, we've still, like, you know, smooched it up with our brother's wife. So, we're still... I'm still waiting for that conflict. Um... Bro, you have to fix your channel points awards. Channel points awards. Uh, what, what is, what is that? <laughs> I'm sorry. What, I don't, I don't know what that is. I have one called Vetske Ducks. If someone redeem that, I have drink. That oh, have drink. Redeemed highlight. My message. Yeah, I, I still don't know what that is. <laughs> like, I, I must be the one Twitcher that has, like, no clue what, what these things do. I would need to, like, you know, educate myself. I just don't... Nev I, I never bother, you know. Can you show me someday? Okay, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, no sweat, no sweat. Oh, somebody is trying to get a hold of me. Eh, wait. What was that? Okay, hold on one second. Holy shit. Okay.
Uh, Benny seems to have hit a snag here. John McClane. The rear, um, the developer of Deer Isle. Very, very bad, bad, bad news. Terrain Builder totally crashed Deer Isle project irreversible. Have to go back to a pretty old backup since the problem seems to be also in the latest backups. Last backups won't load into Terrain Builder again. Instant crash. In all caps, fuck this shit. Need some days off this. No release for Daisy 1.17. Fuck, 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 fuck. Going to bed now. Can't stand this at the moment. P.S. I really could cry. Did some cool rework of old locations last days. All of it lost. God damn. And I re... Just this day, today, I watched his trailer for the newest up map update. Holy shit. And there's like a ton of people tagging with R.I.P. Rip. Heart. And crying emojis. Shit. Well, that was not cool. I was actually going to show you guys uh, the trailer for the latest map update. 4.6, I believe it was. Um... He's going to add, like, a lot of mysterious places, or he was going to add a lot of them, like, like, unknown, like, aircraft carriers and, like, alien artifacts on distant islands and all that. So much that looked so cool. He made such a great trailer for it, and now it's all ruined. I feel so bad for the guy. I feel so bad for the guy. Damn. Alright, well, that shit happens, I guess. You know what? It, it kind of feels uh, like how I felt when I fucked up one of the episodes, like last year, like a year ago, and I was like doing the Westbrook incident. I have I had been role-playing in DayZ, and I'll just tell you quick, like, what happened, okay? Like, me and Medi, we were, we were meeting up with the Brotherhood of Tear, and we were sort of having a secret meeting where we were trying to get Brotherhood of Tear to help us fight against a group called the Pathfinders. It was sort of like a secret conspiracy, all right? And it was so cool, it was so exciting, and, and we were like, really like, oh yeah, you know, we were talking about that. And so we sort of formed a secret alliance. Right afterwards, after we were done with that, the group, the Pathfinders, uh, that we were going to fight, they attacked uh, Westbrook, which was b -tier stronghold, because they had overheard us. And how had they overheard us? Because I had had my walkie-talkie on the entire time. When I realized that, I just logged off and I went to bed feeling so miserable. I hated myself for doing that. I was so disappointed. And, I mean, I know it's like, you know, like, it's just a game. But when you role play, it's kind of a little bit more than just a game. A just, just a game is when you play a single player campaign. Or like a BR kind of, kind of thing. But when you're role playing, it's actually kind of more like you know, real life in a way, you know what I mean? So I felt so disappointed, and I kind of can equate how he must be feeling in a way similar to how I felt then. Then, of course, I woke up the day after, and it was like, it was still hurting, but it was like, okay, yeah, it's a little bit better. And then, of course, I got to talk to some of the people, and they assured me, like, no, 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 it's, it's fine, you know, it's... It, it's just a game. They actually told me. And I got, you know, I felt a little bit relieved, but 
that evening when I found that out, I was so crushed. So crushed. Um, well, have, don't, have done it myself, sadly. I know you've been right, right. It sucks so immensely. So I can understand. I mean, it's not the same type of concept, but it's, it's sort of a similar feeling probably when you get so disappointed because something that you have been really into and passionate about and everything and it just goes completely wrong and everything you did is just fucked up and I, I can understand that my sympathies with the guy honestly okay you know what I am not going to lean forward anymore I need to do this I hope my controller charged properly now Ugh. it does <laughs> it does however not show in uh, in the uh, completed episode. The episode was uh, episode 12, the Westbrook incident. <laughs> I managed to cut so that my my fuck up was it wasn't focused on that. you know I cut I cut that away. but it was actually at the time I wondered how am I ever going to be able to like cover this up in post-production when you're editing though, you can do some pretty amazing things. You can do a lot. You can, like, you know, leave a lot on the cutting room floor. So I was able to, like, at least keep the story somewhat stable without showing all, showing my fuck up. <laughs> I do say, though, in, an, in the narration, I say, like, they must have overheard something, you know, <laughs> something that they shouldn't have heard. I don't say anything else. You know? <laughs> Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. Oh, we all we heard can talk that. on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. Uh, I am tired of RP at the moment. Yeah. I am kind of sort of getting into it a little bit again because I've been out of it so for so long now i needed a break when when i was when i left survivalists i was like you know i was all burnt out because essentially what i was doing was i was playing rp as i was editing the episodes at the same time that pretty much took up all my time the only thing else i could do was like eat and sleep because I was, like, unemployed. So I could just... The only thing I could do was focus on that. So it kind of burnt me out. And I... Me and Medi, we had a falling out. And, and the whole thing went sour it, in the end. But we did accomplish some really good things, though, together. But after that, I was just like, okay, I need a break. I just need to do something else. And, like, maybe keep editing, but not role-playing anymore. And now I've actually taken the time and it feels good to you know have been away from it for a while I am thinking about maybe going back to it but not now like I need to still I still have like episodes left from last year still to complete so I still need to complete them and by that time I should be like you know open for more RPing the only thing I'm not going to do anymore is to record and like make a role-playing series of it it has been fun absolutely it's been one of the best times of my life to create these things but it also is so exhausting you know you have to sit and you have to go through so many gigabytes of re recorded raw footage to just like cut everything together and it takes so much time, so it's like, I'm just gonna, if I go back to RP, I think I'm just gonna be doing that, you know, maybe still, like, record just for, like, you know, the whole, like, report issue in case somebody breaks the rule or anything, but I'm not gonna make, like, a big show of it anymore, and now, at least I can say now, I have tried that, and in all fairness, I mean, I... 
I feel like I can say I've done some pretty cool things. In fact, the new episode, I'm going to release the latest episode now this coming weekend, I think. If I remember to do that, because, you know, like I said, I'm going out on Saturday, so we'll see. Uh, episode 28, Ground Zero. It's going to be released either this weekend or next week some sometime. We'll see, we'll see. But, yeah, this one I was actually very proud of, because it's... It's an episode that has an, a beginning, a middle, and an end. It's very self-enclosing, and it has a purpose. It's a solid story. It's a solid chapter in the Burley Brothers' life, so... Oh, sorry. I just keep talking. <laughs> I know you must have at least heard something. You know what I mean? It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. <clears throat> Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Was it fair? Too much going on already. Wait, is he... Oh my god, this trip guy. He is actively, like, keeps whining about me. He whines about, like, how everything is my fault, and, like, it's, it's always my fault. He loads so much shit on me, and then he turns to me and tries to, like, ask me for advice and be all reassuring. I just want to say, screw you. Like, why do people feel it's fair to come to Javi and ask for his, you know, help and support and advice and guidance and reassurance when they treat him like crap? Right. Javi, come on. Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just I don't know what to do. Oh, follow your heart. Just oh. follow your heart. That's all any of us have left anymore, right? Thanks, man. That I'll means... talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. It's probably... It Bobby, feels like he's gonna on. sacrifice himself or something. I feel like everybody's gonna sacrifice themselves, but yeah. I feel like he's that kind of an expendable character. He's probably gonna die. There's Or Eleanor's gonna die. One of them is gonna die, and the other is gonna be really crushed. Trophy earned across the water. Alright. Stay frosty, gents. What's that mean? Mike, stay cool, buddy. <laughs> Best guard ever. <laughs> Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about staying cool. I've done this before, Hobby. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? <sighs> yeah, I think I do. I don't know if he does. He's still a kid. How can we trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? Your father trusts her. And we trust him, right? Yeah. Then we should be okay. I hope. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone. Other than you and Kate, Mariana, and what I remembered of my dad. Through their actions, they can try to confuse you with their words, but someone worth your trust does good things. Makes sense. Trust is earned. She sure is a big help. They're w walking way too slow for this to be successful. Or... Or maybe this is just the way the game does things now? I don't know felt very like specific here like 
Yeah. Metal detector? Really? Ava said it'd be this way. Oh, wait. They have a metal detector. You can't leave with a gun. You can't leave with a gun through through that. You can't go that way with a gun. It's down here. The guns are through that door. Of Locked. course it would. Of course it would no be. Time to look for a key either. Jeez. I have to do this the hard way. What? There are no more guards than just Bob, really, at an armory. Okay, fine. <laughs> Jesus, that sound. Can you just use like a credit card or something? So how's it going on that 5M server, by the way, Tom? If you're if you're tired of RP, maybe it's like you haven't been there for a while. <clears throat> Of course he would find a bat. They spray painted the Put weapons. Put these in your bag. Okay. He looks really happy. Like, <laughs> We've never done this before. Just you and me. <laughs> we make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. <laughs> yeah, we do. <gasps> Sorry to scare you. When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. I'll meet you at the entrance. As a guard. Well, I gave up on their server. They they took staffs from nowhere, switched owners, and took me down to co-owner with another guy. Okay. So it wasn't like a, a very serious server then, I guess. Did you have like a lot of a lot at stake? Did you have like a lot of um, assets? Had did you have a lot of time invested in that place? No, 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 you idiot. Get away from me! He has a fanny pack, really. What the fuck? That must have been scripted. Javi, you're bleeding. No Are shit. You okay? Yeah, it was my favorite. It was my server ground. Lel. <laughs> I found it for them. Oh, okay. Alright. So, are you not going back there, or are you, like, just taking a break? My god. <laughs> what the fuck, Gabe? <laughs> I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. 
Yeah, let's not blame the kid, even though he's clearly the one who caused this. But, like, if we do that, he's probably going to be feel, feel really miserable, and it's not going to be good for anybody. Oh, you're not going back? Okay, I got you. We have to get back to the others. Uh. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? <gasps> He's still alive? Oh. Yeah, just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. I mean, you know what? I kind of disagree with this, Ava. Because, I mean, shit happens. What are they going to do? They can't be blamed for, you know... Okay, fine. Gabe did the wrong thing here, so he is to bl be blamed. But Ava didn't know that. But she just comes comes around the corner and is all like, "What? Oh my God! You've stirred up enough. You've stirred up trouble. You are not somebody I want to side with." Like, dude, the guy could have just caught us in the act. I mean, it's not like, ugh. As uh, sharp on service some and streamer Jager Moldhus. He's making one at the moment. Oh, okay, we can uh, we can streamer. Which which streamer is that? Oh Jesus. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, oh, okay. I'm supposed. I'm actually supposed to do something now. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Yep. Shit. No, well, aren't we going okay. to Eleanor? It's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. Aren't we going to the Eleanor? Count on him to help you. Medical facilities right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night too. Aren't we going to Eleanor? <sighs> okay. But let's be quick. We're not going to Eleanor? Okay. That was weird. That's really strange. Uh, can I send you a link on DC later? Can you really right. hit targets cool. over a mile away? Trophy earned, not the prayers answer. for the dead. Some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. All right, fine. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? <laughs> Kid. I mean, okay, laser sights are pretty cool. <laughs> Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought what you were you someone else. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Thought you'd be long gone by now. <sighs> so did I. But I still need to talk about AJ with Lingard. Look at him. Oh, he's high. Anyway, he's I can't junkie. leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually. In much worse conditions. Yeah, season two. You'll be fine. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. Interesting. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. Oh, menstrual what is thing. It? I mean, like, why is it... She doesn't know. Oh my god, she doesn't know about, like... The Red Week. This took an interesting turn. Okay. I mean, how old is she? I think she's about... What could she be? Like, 13 now, I think? She was... What was she? Like... 8 or 9? No, 10. We started in Season 1. She was, I think, 10. And in... Yeah, exactly. And in Season 2, I think she was about... 11 or 12, something like that. Here, I think she's 13, 14, maybe. 
and that's right nobody actually ever taught her about that okay let's see where this is going I just don't understand <laughs> oh that <laughs> you're growing up there it means go. you're growing up blossoming into your you know like womanhood yeah it's your normal. body is, is developing and then things change but it'll be okay Okay. <laughs> I can take you back to Kate. He did that. He she did can a good job with, there. Uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. <laughs> oh, uh, right. <laughs> I did not expect them to actually cover that. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, can we look at her? Okay. Oh, I thought she was going to say something like, Why are you staring at me? What? I'm not un not normal anymore, right? Um, there we go. Jackpot. Needle and thread. Slap All sterilized it. and ready to go. I probably will. We'll see. Okay, needle and thread. Let's just look through all the other places here. Because it appears like we can. Here we go. Oh, Bindur! <laughs> okay, that's... Okay, well, we have everything we need now. <laughs> Cody. Hmm, not much left. Cody. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Yeah. I mean... Okay, the, we can put these back. No thanks. We don't need them right now. Let's see what's in here. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. That could have been useful though. Antibiotics, especially in a post-apocalyptic world. Uh, okay, let's give her the bindor first. What is binda in Engels in English? In Engelska? Gr I'm great with the Swinglish here. Let me Google that. Wait, uh, Yeah. On tonight's show, Ego is Googling the word binda. <laughs> Wait. Binda uh, Engelska. Oh, it's called... It's called bind. Okay. No, 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 no. That's the verb. That's the action. No, 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 no. Uh, no, I'm being the... Sanitary pad. Okay, sanitary pad. Apparently. Sanitary pad. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, Cle Clementine, I got something for you. Happy birthday. You're growing up. Hey, <laughs> this is just what you're looking for. Trust me, you need these. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. They're... They're made for it. Think I remember how to do this. Oh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> okay. Hold still. All Try right. not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Yeah. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say I was a natural-born mother. Oh, flashback! Interesting. Are we going to see more of Kenny? It's a butterfly. <laughs> Goofball, want another? <laughs> Which one to do next? Hmm. How about... Dog. Bark, bark. <laughs> Down, boy. <laughs> That's a pretty good dog. Always used to do that one for Duck. Aw, He'd laugh his ass off. 
Oh, shit. Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you? Light, light. All right. Just a second, goofball. Voila. Hey, get away from him. <laughs> Again, he's like. Is he okay? Shh. Still not bitten, little guy. So he you know, survived. First time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. Grateful for what you're doing. Always putting him first. You've done as much for AJ as I have. Rebecca would be grateful for you, too. Yeah, but you're the only mama he's got. Protective, loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. But parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. <laughs> That's for sure. That kind of love. It's worth dying for. I guess that's what Katya felt when Duck. Yeah. Well, well that was a, a long time ago. Season one. Ooh. Kids as sick of the cold as I am. So I've been thinking, it's no use surviving out here, hoping that Wellington will take us in someday. I bet we find some good people down in Florida. Maybe even a little friend for this goofball. Wouldn't that be nice? We could use the company. Hell, I know I could. Anywhere's better than here. I don't think I can stand another day of snow. We'll find you a playmate in no time, kid. I remember when you and Duck used to color together back at the motel. Life doesn't mean much without people you can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. She was right. There's a lot of season one and season two references here. Back at the motel, that was also season one. And Sarita, that was season two. Uh, I just feel it's such a shame. After this flashback, chronologically, is when Kenny gets killed. And he goes in such a lame-ass manner. I mean, technically, yeah, he provided cover so that, you know, Clementine and AJ could escape. But it was like, I felt like it should be like... It should have been, like, more epic somehow. It just felt so brushed over, you know? Especially I'm sorry since, for all this sappy shit. Like, he's in so many flashbacks as well. I guess I'm just... happy? Well, let's, huh. hu let's hug him. First time in a while. Uh. All right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. <laughs> That's a stock lap. How about lap. this one, little man? <laughs> a moose? We've got each other. 
As long as we have that, we'll be okay. And then Kenny dies. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> One month later, okay. That's after Kenny died, probably. No, that's when she got kicked out of uh, New Frontier. Okay. Because she's not having him anymore. She She's not holding AJ anymore. Oh, is this the second time she returned to that place? Oh, she did. It's Ava again? Maybe not. Yeah, draw a knife. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. What the hell are you doing here? What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. I know. I'm sorry, too. I didn't want to piss anyone off, but... I had to help AJ. None of this has been easy for you. I know. Look, it's not much, but... Here. <laughs> okay, that's the standard Richmond goodbye. They kick you out of their settlement, but oh, there's always going to be somebody who comes along with a duffel bag, like, here you go, keep going, you know? Like, when we got kicked out of Richmond first time, David comes and gives us a duffel bag. Now in the flashback, Clementine is kicked out and Ava comes with a duffel bag. It's like, okay, that's, that's a Richmond farewell. <laughs> that's better than bullets, I guess. I mean, bullets flying at you. Uh, okay. Let's, let's look at everything. Okay, that didn't tell us anything, so why did it say look? Okay. <gasps> Excuse me. That is a water bottle. That is AJ's doodle. Take the water bottle first and foremost. Take it. Wait. So what was the point of having one... That was also a look. Why does it say look and take separately? This, is also, this also says take. Confusing! OCD... David wanted you to have that. AJ what the hell is this? You. It calmed him down. This... Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? Oh, good. We care oh. about you. Yeah. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Oh, so are we Listen, just good it's now? It's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. I could maybe find some others. Town or something. We all have to fit in somewhere, right? Just because it didn't work out with us doesn't mean you won't find happiness somewhere else. Don't stop looking. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. 
You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. Yeah, I used uh, to have Lee. Season one. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head. Good call back. Me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know. Here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell. You and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Uh... Please. It's what makes you special. I mean, she's being very friendly now and very, like, encouraging and all that. It feels a little bit hypocritical since New Frontier basically kicked Clementine out to survive on her own. Like, she's, what, 14 or something? And it's like, it feels very hypocritical, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to say go away because you are a fucking hypocrite, but I don't want to alien... Like, I want to try to stay on good terms with everybody, so I'll go the nice... Guy path. It's what keeps the rest of us going. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. I'll try. Don't change. I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Those good people you mentioned before, the ones you said would be out there, well, there's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. Prescott. There are definitely good people there. I'm sure they'll take you in. I'll miss having you around, Clem. Just get out of here now. <laughs> You're going to be okay. The only thing is... It kind of feels like... I mean, you know, yeah, she's a hypocrite. But also, it feels like... She's saying these things to sort of smooth everything over just for her own sake you know I, Clem I don't want you to be angry with me please you know like I know we basically kicked you to the curb but we can still be friends right you know like it uh, it, it irks me a little bit it irks me thanks Ava good luck out there Clem But every good guy option we make has a potential, like, friendship in the future. Which means that we have another potential person That's to That's what keeps me going. On. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? Yeah. I think I'm getting better. That was fast. There's not much to it. The wound was pretty clean. Did you disinfect it? Use, like, you alcohol coming? or something? Rubbing alcohol? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Alright. Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. Any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's. He's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. <clears throat> if you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When wait, 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 Clementine. We've already gone over this. Last episode, remember when we met up with David in that warehouse? I mean, I felt like to a, to a certain extent... At least she should have mellowed a little bit. Maybe, maybe not entirely, but like, 
She's be being very accusative right now. AJ recovered. David was the one who stepped up. Oh. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. Oh, good Lord. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. Clem can be the judge of that. She doesn't need to be. As a doctor, I'm telling you, he's in better shape now than when I first saw him. That was because he was sick. He would have stayed sick too if I had listened to you, doctor. I stand by what I said. Yeah, that means you're incompetent. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? Yeah. No. What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Don't give up. You're crazy! No, don't give up. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Well, we're getting him back. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. Oh, is it up to me? Of course. I, I have to know. I've been looking for too long. Really? We have to do the right thing. I mean, I can't... Oh, fuck, I... This is not the right way, though. We can't kill him. I mean... Yes, he wants to die. And Clem... Wants to know where AJ is, but this is the right... Like, everything... Moral-wise tells us that this is wrong. And I feel like... Regardless if Clem is going to hate us now, it doesn't matter. I feel like if we... if Maybe I'm just Mass Effect destroyed. Like, you know, too too much influenced of Mass Effect. But it feels like if, if there's life, there's a chance that we can get him... If we solve his problems without doing this, doing this rash thing, then there's a chance that we'll find out where the kid is anyway. You know what I mean? Because why would there otherwise be an option to not inject him with the drug? Like, it seems like the choice should be obvious except for the moral issue. So right now, I'm thinking, like, there, there has to be a reason for the game giving us you know, the good guy choice. Because right now, we can't see it. We can only see what we can gain. Like, kill Lingard and get the information about AJ, but what do we lose if we do that? Well, we'll actively have murdered one of the council. I don't think that's the right way to go. I'm a little bit split on this, and I can tell you for absolute certain that probably, like... Okay, that's a contradiction in terms. But probably most people chose to kill Lingard here. But I am not going to do that. 
I want to see what happens when we don't do that. I know Clem is going to hate us, probably. But maybe it'll be smoothed over if we find out about AJ some other way. We'll see. I'm going to I'm gonna say no. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. <laughs> you do it, then. You do it, then. I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, yeah. stop. Okay. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <clears throat> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ. Just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How Why? could you? Wait, just so arbitrarily? Good. It's your funeral. Wait, 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 wait. I don't get it. Why... Why did it have to be Javi that did it? Did it? Why... What? That feels a little bit strange. That didn't make any sense. Why, why would he care about who kills him or not? <gasps> Maybe it was a setup. Maybe it was a setup. Can you see my gears turning in here? <laughs> Maybe it was a setup. He wanted us. Maybe that there. Maybe there wasn't even like you know lethal contents in in the in the syringe. Maybe maybe it would just have gone to like show that oh we you know okay let's keep going keep going especially now now that jones rounding up all alleged traitors you better hope she doesn't find you hang in there buddy did he say oh, that to lingard hey uh, hi clementine Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. <laughs> Hi, Elder. By the way, trophy earned. Blood for blood. Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks hey. for the warm welcome. You're Just back surprised too. to see you is all. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. <laughs> Bam! It goes off. No, I've already got one. Oh? <laughs> you know? Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. <laughs> Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? Can't say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. The guy's clearly an addict. He was destroyed when we got there. It would be sad if it wasn't so reckless. It's pathetic is what it is. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. About what? The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. We have to help my dad. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, 
We're fucking stuck in Richmond. So make this now our how the fuck place. Are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So how do we do that? I think the the proper way to do it is not to go in guns blazing and shoot everybody down. That would turn the people of Richmond against us. What we need to do in this situation, what you always need to do is to make the people kick out the the problem. You know, have the people turn against uh, sorry, the the one that's corrupted or the one that is like shady or evil or whatever. If you have the people on your side, then that's the ball game. You've won. Um, the people is like the large mass. If you if those guys don't have the people with them, you know, the, you've won. How do we do that? Though? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll Find some allies. From us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. Yeah. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. We sure. light the match, the people do the rest. Exactly what I said. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are going to be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. <sighs> We've been expanding, pushing out further, <sighs> making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing? Nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding. <laughs> Gabe screwed this up. <laughs> Who in the right mind would like, you know, just throw the kid on the under the bus right now? I mean, I Oh my god, that's just such a joke choice, you know? Right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. <sighs> I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey, hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It <laughs> happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! <laughs> I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. Okay, what I'm thinking is, Gabe might... That would be cruel, though, for David to lose both of his children. But it feels like, if we take him along, he's gonna get killed. And if we we leave him at home he's gonna slip out anyway and get himself killed it f I, I just it feels like he's gonna get killed one way or the other he's my dad i'm going it's going to be dangerous out there and i don't want anyone else getting hurt if we get to save dad then getting hurt is worth it it's worth dying for this is more important to me than anyone else i've got a gun and I know how to use it. Cut the shit, Gabe. <laughs> Love my internet. It crashed and it came back now. Aw. Rip. F. Wait, 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 wait. 
F in the comment for respect. There we go. <laughs> Cut the shit, Gabe. No way anybody is dying. Not today. That's what. That felt like the good thing to say, but not the responsible thing to say. I already regret it a little bit because it's not the real. It, this might actually end with some deaths. Uh, you know. Why we have to take the time to talk it through so everybody comes out okay. Well, that's true. Nobody here is going to let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain you. You little prick. But you thought killing him would be easier. I saved your life, too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What I mean, the fuck did you do that for? You, you looked me in the eyes, man. He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was going to shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger. No question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. Oh, and here we go with Trip. Be now he, he just gets water on his mill. You know, like, oh, here we go. Let's get get all the whining out. Come on. So now I need to watch the VOD. Oh man. You're going to do that? Uh, I actually appreciate that. <laughs> you made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? Okay, you know what? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. What? Well, maybe I'd be better off with Joan. You know what? You know what? Fuck these guys. Fuck these guys. Javi's done nothing but, like, be there for them. Nothing. And, and it's like, you know what? You know what? Screw. Screw these guys. I like this game. Looks very cool. It is very cool. Although it's it's more like a graphic novel than a game. It's it's a lot of cute, uh, like, quick time events. Um, that's pretty much it, but it is a really cool, I would recommend, if you like, you know, story-driven dramas and all that, you should, you should check out, like, the, uh, Walking Dead games. I have the collection, which is basically all three of the first games, and the, uh, Michonne DLC, which we're gonna do next time, but there's also a fourth game coming up, but yeah. Season 1 is the first game, Season 2 is the second game. This is Season 3, although it's not called Season 3, it's called The New Frontier. Um, but yeah, if you want, if you really want to go through it, you should go through them all if you, you know, if you, whenever you can afford it and, and you know. Um, so, yeah, I recommend it, definitely. Is it only on PS4? I don't think so, I think it should be on Xbox One as well, and possibly PC. Um, you, you'll have to Google it, but I think... I, I don't think it's only PS4. I think it's cross-platform. I think. Don't quote me on that, though. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back! You get the fuck out, and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable! You know what? I did you what I had me? to do. I'm we can take care of ourselves. Hell, we stick around you much longer. Go to hell, I'll leave. I'm really sorry. <sighs> like I said two episodes ago, there's a... <sighs> this is a game. And you ideally pick the choices in the conversations that give you the best... Um, the best results. Not as as opposed to actually saying what you want to say. Right now, what I want to say is go to fucking hell. Like I want to say that in his face, but I can't do that because that will just drive them away from me and will probably not be able to get 
sort of like the best ending, you know what I mean? So in that way, these kinds of games, they drive you to do things that you might not want to do, but you kind of have to do if you want to. Like, you know what I mean? You're thinking strategically in every conversation. You're trying to get everybody to be on your side. So if I say go to hell now, that's not going to help things, as in real life. Even though I really want to say it, I'm not going to say it. So I'm going to say, like, I'll leave or I'm sorry. Uh, I'll probably say I'm sorry because at least I've apologized. Um, they're probably just going to spit in my face and say, Sorry doesn't cut it in your fucking... You know, things like that. I'm fully prepared for it. But I feel like that is the best option if I still want to try to keep the group together. You know what I mean? Thinking strategically. Always doing that. So, yeah. We're going to have to do that. Um, but um, remember, I kind of would have liked to say something else. <laughs> because I totally feel like every choice I've made has been the right choice. I couldn't let Gabe or Clementine die at the hands of freaking Conrad. These people have no idea what he did in the tunnel. And now they're just jumping to conclusions and being all like, fuck you, yeah, 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 yeah. Completely disregarding that we have been the ones who ke who have kept the group together um, as much as we've been able to, at least. So, yeah, that's my story, and that's I'm sticking with it. <laughs> I'm sorry. They kill us too. I'm sorry it happened the way it did. Really. Conrad wasn't a bad guy. The situation was just... Just fucked. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. We haven't seen David in a while. I wonder what Joan has done to him. Like, I wonder if... I'm still Clint, thinking maybe she's You come with me to get him. the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Cover us. Be ready for anything. Wrong. Oh, is she like healed up now? I wonder. I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. No. You... Oh, don't be such a... <coughs> okay, what is the right thing to say here? What's the mature thing to say here? Stay behind and keep Grow watch. up, don't make me beg. We've all got jobs to do. We've all got jobs to do. Keeping watch is an important job, too. Not as important as getting that truck. Hey, well, Gabe, come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Exactly. Good. Good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he he's a simp. <laughs> what? And she okay. knows it. <laughs> Gabe and I will be fine back here. Oh, that's so cool. He simps for Clementine. That's his weakness. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we can talk to him? What do you want, Javi? Talk later, everything quiet out here. What is your what is your problem? You gotta be a team player, there you go. I know it sucks sometimes. But you gotta be a team player. It's about thinking of everyone. I get it, okay? Just quit treating me like a kid all the time. Well stop acting like a kid all the time. I know it's such a cliche to say that, especially since, like, every parent in the world has heard that. Like, stop treating me like a kid. Every parent has said, like, well, stop acting like a kid. You know? It's the perfect comeback, and it's the standard comeback. It's used in every situation. But it is true. Like, kids don't appreciate the fact that if they want respect, 
they need to earn the respect. You know? Like, acting like a obnoxious kid isn't gonna... Like, whining and crying isn't gonna make things better. And actually, Trip should have taken that lesson to heart. He seems to have not left the kid's state of his life. He keeps whining and... Oh, hate that guy. Sotayumale is like, No! We can't! You can't hate him, or something. Gotta be careful. Any more muertos pushing? Those boards won't hold up. Alright. Well, don't be there, then. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. <laughs> All right. This is the truck. Locked. We can't catch a break. Nope. Where those would probably rip this old truck apart in seconds. Okay, lean back. Lean back. <sighs> Jesus now. This thing looks like it moves too slow for an escape. <laughs> that was okay. Hey, by the way, nice handling of Gabe there. What's going on? Thanks. For what? Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. Yeah, we all are. I'm just doing what I can. Just so you know, Let's keep looking for that truck. It's appreciated. You got it. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. Okay, so we're not going to use any of these. Ooh, look at that. Okay, before we go there, check this out. <laughs> oh, Jesus again. Sturdy, but only room for one. And pretty slow, as well. And not that protected, either. either. There it is. Let's go. What are the chances? I'd say about... 50-50. It was Smart open. ass. They say how long it's gonna take them to finish up here. People keep getting pushed onto other front. We've got company. Hell yeah. This graveyard ship is killing me. Oh, let me get some of that. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? Uh, just want to say, I am getting the vibe that somebody's going to get killed here. I'm, uh, you know. And also, I just thought of it. I don't think Kate... Uh, I could be completely wrong. But it. I wonder if it... I feel like Kate should be alive when we have the conflict with David. I'm still talking about it as if I know... I, I, Trust me, I have no idea if it's going to happen or not. But it feels like it's too big of a thing to be left out of the game completely. I mean, we've basically smooched his wife. They've sort of danced around the subject, and now he's back. So there must be like some kind of confrontation coming at some point. And I feel like killing off Kate before that happens wouldn't really make sense. Uh, unless we fight about her when she's, like, post-mortem. I don't know. We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Ready? Ready. Ready. Or the wind chill factor starts to come. Remember that wind chill factor? I used to think 
Feels like it should make more of a more of a noise than this. Turns out you needed me after all, huh? Oh, give it a rest, <laughs> I'm kid. Just saying. I know you didn't want me to come along. If I'd stayed behind, maybe we wouldn't have been able to get the truck. I'm glad you were here. Okay. <laughs> At least you can admit it. Yeah. Well, it turns out you're pretty useful when you actually follow directions. <laughs> Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put really? it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Oh, okay. Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? Where could there be tools? Well, there's a toolbox here. Is the game holding our hand? Up to the point where we have to press a button to open the toolbox? <laughs> Why am I even asking these questions? sound is so, like, turned up whenever that happens. Whenever there's, like, blood and gore and, and punches Almost and everything. Almost there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. <coughs> oh, that Clem might... and I will look out for walkers. Be a good idea. Okay. Here goes. Have fun. Mm. Yeah. Wire cutter should help with this. Uh, I don't know how to hot wire cars, so what kind of what wire do I cross with what wire? Like, you know what I mean? Uh huh. Got to connect the battery to the ignition. Connect the battery to... Oh, okay, you explained it, so... Okay, gotcha. The battery to the ignition. Okay, oh, wait. Oh, there's only two. Okay. Power ignition, power truck. Okay. Let there be light. All right, hurry up. All right, everybody into the truck now. Shit. Everybody into the truck now. Everybody into the truck now. Okay. Don't get electrocuted. Don't get electrocuted. Abby, hurry up. I had no idea I could hotwire a truck. Now. You know. Oh. Trophy earned. Smoke and fire. Oh, that truck this turned without even turning in away. wheels. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. And that what? So, nothing for us to do but sit and oh watch the sun come up. Oh my god, are we gonna... Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. That's not a real thing. Euchre. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. 
Really takes you back, doesn't it? Good old time. Good Just old days. Just you and me, and Gabe, and Mari. You're right. This is nice. Like if I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us, together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. No. Ha! <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. No, really? Uh, I'm gonna go to bed. Take care, man. Yeah, sure. Uh, um, take care and uh, be safe. And I will talk to you later and have a good time um, in York on, on Friday. And uh, hope to see you again soon. And uh, we'll catch up. Have a good night's sleep, man. Get eight success. <laughs> Oh, actually, I, okay. There we go. He light likes her. You get it? It's kind of crazy. I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. I think their first official date will be target practice. Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Uh, young love. <laughs> it's so normal you know like as crazy as things get as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other not that they're there yet but to feel something that intensely for another person kind of like the best drug there is well one of the best drugs hey the falling in love is the easy part it's the staying in love part that'll really mess you up. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? Yeah. I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. They deserved better than this. That's why we're doing this thing. Right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I'm always right. I hope you know, Javi. Having you there with me, right by my side, all this time... That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. Oh my god, I can see this happening. They're gonna, oh, they're gonna consummate their love, but they're gonna, we, I mean, I don't want to pull, if I get the choice, I don't want to pull away from Kate, because we pretty much built it up to the point where we have been stayed, like, we have, we have stayed close with her, you know, and I find, I mean, I, I want to, like, go all the way with her, because it feels like, that is where their feelings are. They are good for each other, you know? But I can see it happening as clear as day when we do something, either it be fucking kissing or ho hugging, just basically holding hand might be enough. And then, like, you know, David comes in just as that happens and he flips his shit and goes ape shit, and we're gonna have to make a choice. Either, like, reject... Uh, Kate or or like kill David or we might even get a ch not even get a choice at that point we might actually you know maybe the choice was to actually go all the way with Kate and then David becomes our main antagonist because of it you know oh it's so annoying I could just see it happening you didn't run away you could have but you didn't I think that's just you know, who I am, you know? Uh, who I am now, at least. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I'm in love with you. I know we've had moments, you and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and mm. maybe some of them haven't 
meant anything at all. But before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know, whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. Yeah. But do you feel the same way? I mean, we're going to say that we feel the same way. But the pro there's this problem. We can't... I so wanted to be... I want to win on all sides. Like, I want to back my brother and I want to, like, ha let Javi have the love of his life... I want it all to work out, but it's going to be an either or, you know, we can't have it both ways. We can't have our cake and eat it. We're go either we're going to back our brother or we're going to like stick with Kate because we know who David is and he is going to see that as a betrayal. There's no way, there's no way around that. And it's so annoying because I would like to back David, but like, oh, the feelings just evolved naturally. You know what I mean? And also, there's this fact that, uh, um, I mean, in all honesty, he should have seen it coming. But in all honesty, we should have told him. You know, he should have. He should have like. He should be able to understand that, you know, you, we thought you were dead. You know. But at the same time, we should not have played along when he was, like, kissing on her and, she, you know, when she pops up in his life again. We should have told him immediately. So there's no way I'm seeing this ending anyway but badly in one form or another. I'd really like to know before things get crazy. Let's hear what you say. We might says. not get another chance. Yes, I want to be with you, man. Oh. No pressure or anything, all right? Well, maybe I should have stayed quiet. Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So are we gonna... What, now? And D David sees it. Okay. Or something. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? He's got. Oh, he's gonna. Oh. It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. Oh, oh, we can say, do we have to? We can play the bad guy here, and be all like, you know what? We don't have to tell David anything. We can just keep on doing this behind his back, you know? He doesn't have to know. Oh, my God! <laughs> I'm laughing now because that is so... Such an alien... It's The choice is so alien to me, you know? Like, I... I it, for me, it is really black or white. Like... Either we push Kate away and we, you know, stay true to our brother, he's, he, she is his wife and whatever, or we go for it and, like, tell David, you know, David, this is how it is. But, uh, you know, going behind his back, oh, that just feels so sleazy, you know? <laughs> I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. I hope he can handle it. I know he's good under pressure, but this is different. Yeah. Yeah. Here's hoping he doesn't completely flip out. There's a good Considering chance. Considering we're about to save his life, maybe he'll cut us a break. I don't think so. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here now. All right. Don't Go. bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square. Shit. We got to get over there. Now. So, are you just gonna leave the truck running? It's gonna be out of gas when you get back. I'm going to hang back here with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. 
something bad is going to happen. Good luck. Oh, we're really getting used to doing that. <laughs> Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. I'm getting a little worried about Ava. Something must have gone wrong. Something must have happened. Well, We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, that's... let's do it already. Just for the record, that wasn't exactly what I expected. I just wanted to say, yeah, maybe we need to keep an eye open because that it didn't sound good. Something might have happened. But he put that forward needlessly, like... It felt like he was stirring up a little bit more panic there among kids, especially. Like, nah, that was not what I intended, but okay, keep going. You ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. Glad to hear it. Alright, remember the plan. Stir up some shit among the populace. Get them to get them riled up against Joan if we get that option. can't wait for the others, can we? For years now, uh, Richmond me. has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in... lying to all of you! I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered this man in cold blood. Oh, no, that this was who we want in charge. That was Someone, me. Someone <laughs> this reckless, this cruel. Not if I have anything to do with it. Can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. It's a scare tactic. He's kept him safe. This means war. It's a scare tactic. Don't lose your cool. It's a scare tactic. Yeah, it, let's go with it's a scare tactic. This means war riles him up, like, for nothing. And don't you lose your cool. I feel like that choice might just be made for him to be like don't tell me to not lose your cool and he goes off like all kid again but if we actually try to learn him or teach him something uh he might actually you know okay all right this guy knows his shit let's go with that i think she's bluffing it's a scare tactic there's no way she's really gonna execute david are you sure i hope you're right Javier! I'd heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. Good, I want a platform. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. I'll be happy to. Happy to. Been waiting for this all day. Then I'll try not to disappoint you. This is exactly what we want. We want to have a platform to tell the people... Well, hopefully I'll be able to navigate through the choices and say exactly the right things. I can't promise, but but yeah, this is what we need. This is exactly what I said before. We need the people to see Joan for what she is. So, here goes nothing. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend Eleanor last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you were coming here to rally the people against me. Convince them that I was no good for Richmond. Well, you aren't. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. Considering 
It's all of us against the three of you. That's still my plan. But I guess hope springs eternal. And that's exactly what I'm planning to do. Appreciate the honesty. Which makes this so much harder. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no. They had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. Okay, we he need told the his people, people with where us to find now. our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? We Something need a... like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here. Look at Clint. Clint? to do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Don't! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty. Okay, we could do the self-sacrificing thing here. I think that's the only way we can show the people that were sincere you know like the last thing you as a human ever give up is your own life you know like there is something innately programmed into us by nature in our genetics to absolutely go against you know any form of trying to end your life then of course there's like you know depression and all that but i'm i'm telling about like i'm talking about like a a human that is you know like mentally stable and all that has things to live for and all that there is something that hell even no actually even like a mentally unstable person take to take up a knife and actually plunge it into your head you know you don't do that readily it's not something you do like there's something that stops you and then you know then it becomes a question on of how you know, healthy are you? I don't know. Never mind. But anyway, so there is a point in showing the people of Richmond here that we are willing to sh to bet our life to show you guys what she is all about. I think all the other choices are just bullshit choices. What were they? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Guilty Please of don't do this. Stop into playing this, games. Take me but instead. But they chose to go along with it. If you're gonna punish anyone, it should be me, not them. So ready to sacrifice yourself for others. Yeah. Don't worry, Javi. I'm not through with you yet. This should already be turning people against Joan, her. are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend? Save Ava, save Trip. Oh, 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 okay. I thought we could actually maneuver that to not have to make that choice. Huh. Well... I mean, the game is pretty much not giving us any alternative here. It is actually forcing us to choose between one of these two. Uh, we don't have a choice. I mean, I would prefer not to choose and just do something else. But, you know, <laughs> it feels like... Okay, let, let's, let's go over this. Ava or Trip... Trip has been a whiner from the start. Trip has pissed me off a lot, and then he has the audacity to like ask me for advice and all that, and then he just turns he turns on me, 
and like doesn't even give me he doesn't he refuses to like hear me out and he doesn't understand what i'm doing you know with the conrad situation ava on the other hand has been loyal she is a lo she is a loyal friend to david which actually also is a good thing in this situation and she's been like really sweet to clementine she's proved herself i mean the the choice is obvious oh yeah i forgot one more thing trip and eleanor were both uh the people who just wanted to toss us aside after the whole conrad uh revelation and eleanor now t apparently went to talk to joan it feels like i don't know if eleanor and trip were both in on that if they were then you know eleanor must be kind of shocked now that trip is like you know sitting there with a gun at his head um if they weren't then this might be a little bit harder to, to actually go for but i am going to go i'm going to cho choose trip this wasn't actually that hard of a choice because trip he's just been bitch and he's turned on no let's go for trip uh i wouldn't want to do this but the game is not giving me a choice unfortunately so let's go for trip and see what happens let ava live she's always been loyal hobby no! Well, there's Screw a you. hobby I know. Backstabbing, double-crossing, no good, dirty fucking murder. Such language. But I admire the sacrifice you're making here, hobby. Although this this didn't go, uh, you know, I feel like the game was being pretty unfair with us here. Because it kind of paints us in a bad light. If we should have been given the right to not choose and just you know be we we shouldn't have to have had to choose you know what i mean like we could have just said no shoot me if you want to shoot anyone i'm not gonna pick between these two the game was unfair here shoot her wait i said don't shoot ava you did but there's something else you need to understand Hey, Lord Maxwell, how are you? Nice to see you, man. A long good time no see you. How are you? Hope you're doing good. And betrayal. Joan, think about what you're doing. Ava's one of us. You can't fucking do this. This is fucked. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. Wait, wait, wait. Go fuck yourself. Wait. You pay for this? How dare you? Uh, how dare you? Let's go with that. How dare you? Wait! No! Oh my god. They really shot her. Oh god damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. No, the people should be turning against her. Yeah, the people should be turning against her now. I can't believe this. Come this on, Clint. This is how we do things. Come on, Clint. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Yes. Think about this, Hobby. You know what's going to happen here. Come on, Clint. Uh, been busy. Yeah, I got you. No worries. No worries. I've missed you, though. I hope you, I hope you know that. <laughs> here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How yeah. about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're going to handle this peacefully. Oh, we're probably going to get up chance don't listen to, to them hobby they're fucking butchers all of them shoot that bitch take her out she deserves it 
Okay. Huh. Interesting. The right thing here is probably to take the deal and just leave. If I shoot Joan, it's... I think it's going to create a panic. And it's also liable to, like, get the people against us. I feel like we don't have a choice in the matter. It's not going to help if we shoot her. I've uh, been busy with moving into my brand new apartment. It's going to be a long and expensive process, but can't wait to have a place to call my own. Hey! Way to go, man. Congratulations. How does it feel? How does it feel? I hope you're... I hope it's, like, really nice. And, uh... Yeah, I'm excited for you, man. Good work. Good job. Good... Good fortune. If you don't do it, I fucking will! Take the deal. We're leaving. All of us. Right now. I didn't say you could go. Doesn't matter if you did. This is how it needs to happen. Yes. Yes. Good. Oh, he's gonna kill her. He's gonna kill her, is he? I knew it. I knew it. What are you... I don't believe any of you. Take your deal and shove it. Okay, David has lost it. David has lost it. The question is now, oh, are they building it up so that we're not, we're going to have to kill David? Ooh, that is cruel. But, I don't want to say this, but it does fix, fix the situation with Kate. That is, it's horrible, I know, but it kind of... If we kill David, if that if it's what it leads to, but uh, very daunting at first, but I'm very excited. Very nice, man. Awesome. Yeah, I remember first first time I moved out. It's it's I, it, well, I, actually it's this apartment. I, re I still remember like the first night I spent here. It was like so different. I'm like waking up the next day, and I'm like waking up to new a new ceiling, a new new walls, and I was like, huh. Wow, you know, like, um, yeah, you're gonna have a great time there. I bet. I bet. They're liars, Clint. All of them. One step closer, and I kill him. I swear I will. Go Can we ahead talk and him shoot. Down? Then I warned you. They can't be trusted. What the fuck? Come on, David. David, please, put the fucking gun down. Sorry, little brother. She's not gonna win. I can't let her. <laughs> Oh, Gabe. Oh. Gabe, Gabe, Gabe. Oh, oh shit. He shot Clint. I mean, so much for, like, you know, taking the deal. Everything got chaotic anyway. But this is a little bit annoying to me, because I felt like our choices should matter, but apparently they don't. Like, we couldn't end this peacefully. Uh, my mom is helping me a lot as well. Nice. Good, man. Good. Good. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> David, you fucked it up. Oh yeah, Trip's alive. <laughs> Fucking hag! Get back here! Gabe, I need you to cover me. We gotta make things right. Okay. Wait, tell me to cover him. Dad needs us. We gotta get out there. Well, Gabe, he doesn't need us. <laughs> We can basically tell Gabe, yeah, go out there, Gabe. Go out there, Gabe. He's gonna die if we do that, but I found that choice so hilarious. I can see it, yeah, yeah, 
go, go. <laughs> that a lot of help. Fortunately, I feel kind of over my head with it. You know, yeah. Oh, I can, I can so relate, man. It is, it is daunting. Like you said, it, it is. But <laughs> it's a perfect way to like, you know, finally come into your own and you know, just, just have your own place and. It's great. It I, I kind of uh, liken it to you know when the when the <laughs> when the mother bird is sort of pushing her kid out the nest. You know you gotta you gotta learn how to fly. This is what you need to do. Make sure you do it before you hit the ground. <laughs> you know. Once I'm settled, it'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Uh, Usually when you move in like the first days and all the boxes are there, you know, you know, all the boxes, it's like, okay, it, but it is temporary. I mean, you can feel it like it is temporary. Once everything is up and you've like settled, like you say, it's, it's going to be awesome. And I wish you many happy years in that place. I've actually lived here. I counted the other day. It felt Okay, I can I can genuinely say that it it doesn't feel like yesterday when I moved in here, but when I think about it, I I will say this: I feel like the years have gone by really quickly. I have lived here now twelve years, yeah, twelve years, and uh, yeah, it's still pretty much uh, as much as I need. Uh, because I don't need any, and I don't need anything more than this. Because I'm just one guy, and I don't need and and like you know, it's just enough for me. You know. Thank you. No worries, man. We'll have a party at your place when I come over. You know. <laughs> uh, he doesn't. We're not here for revenge. If it's not thinking right, what's worth more? His revenge. Or your life. I think you're right. Good. <laughs> Jesus. Good. Clementine. Shit! I gotta help her. Well, shit. God damn it! Just go. I'll try and cover you. Is, is he really going to cover us? We basically sentenced him to death. You know? I'm still surprised that he hasn't tried to shoot us, you know? Maybe he feels sorry for how he acted, though, and is trying to make up. You know that's just wishful thinking. It's going to be like, Yeah, but I don't, don't think for a second that I forgot that you tried to sentence me to death, you son of a bitch. You know, it's, the, this game loves, like, all the Walking Dead games love to, like, berate you for the choices you make, okay? Uh, contributions will be lower on my end, seeing as I'm gon gonna be needing to be careful with money now. Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. You take care of yourself. You know, I appreciate whatever you've done for me. You don't, don't feel, you know, pressured or anything. It's totally fine, you know? I'm appreciating your uh, your uh, company, and uh, I hope you you know will still come by, and we'll have the 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 T Rexwell's tyrannical trivia soon. <laughs> Bam! Oh. David was gonna do something to fuck this up. I told you what he was like. When are you gonna start? Okay, don't be me? my mom. Shit, get down! I hear gunfire. I told what the hell you. is going on over there? Are you guys okay? Do you need uh can't talk now? We'll come if we tell her to come over here. Oh, this hmm, what is the smart thing to do here? Bring her over into a gunfight is probably not the best thing. But I'm trying to figure out, like, does the game want me to 
to be able to like escape right here and now because maybe they'll follow us on foot if we try to get on foot to the truck maybe having Kate come over to us and like you know we board the truck and then we just get the hell out of here maybe that's the right thing to do but it feels like the wrong thing to do because if you do that you're bringing Kate into a you know a live fire zone like a war zone I feel like maybe we should try to get to Kate or just say can't talk right now but if we do that Kate will probably try to come to us I think we're gonna say to her that we are coming to her yeah Eagle Party at Lord Maxwell's Pat. Oh, yeah. Show me them UK babes, you know? <laughs> you know? All right. A pickup? Or do you have things under control? Stay away from the square. It's too risky. We'll come yeah. to you. I I can't hear you. It's Shit. too loud. Oh, she's going to come anyway. <laughs> might not be the best thing to do. <laughs> UK babes, lol, that's a laugh. <laughs> really? Come on, you must have like some, you must have babes there. <laughs> Hot UK babes. I want to see them hot UK babes. It's Kate. She's coming for us. I knew she would. No, oh, she's gonna run us over. You know. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And she's dead. Oh God, Javi, you've got to get over there before. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a stress reaction, okay? But <laughs> it, it was kind of hilarious. Like, <laughs> you gotta get over there now before boom, and then it's like, okay, never mind, <laughs> you know? Uh, some are kind of tasty, all right. Would rather some Swedish gals, though. Uh, I don't know. Swedish. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna say it like that, but I mean. <sighs> Some of them can look pretty fine, definitely, but their there's their whole like mental disposition is very reserved, very like yeah. No, I'd I'd rather go to some to the pub with some UK babes. It's probably more fun, you know. Yep, Kate's dead. Jane! Oh, and that's to boot, you know? Like, people here, I'm sorry I'm going off on this, but like, you know these dating sites, and you know, like, the, the places on online where you like you know you make a presentation and you try to like talk to people see if there's like uh, there's like any chemistry and whatnot 99% of all of them okay maybe 95 don't answer when you're like you know sending them a DM and I'm not talking about like recently I'm talking about like this comes from experience after having been online for 20 years. I don't know if it's different, you know, overseas, abroad, like in other countries, but here, girls generally don't, like, they're very asocial online. And, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's a Swedish thing, I don't know. I've always been wondering... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, shit! Is it over? Ah, look at that! The episode is over. Trophy earned. The price of justice. 
Okay. Well, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. The episode is over. We are going to... It feels like every episode in Season 3 has left off in a chaotic moment. Like, there hasn't been, like, a... There hasn't been any downtime whenever the episodes have ended. You know? Uh, Alright, so... Let's go through this like we always do. Did you promise that you would help Kate with the family if David left? Uh, you and 91.4% of players promised you'd help Kate. Yeah, that felt like most people would absolutely say that. So, And that's the route most people have gone through the game up to that point. So, yeah. Next. How did you respond to Dr. Lingard's request? You and 46.3% of players refused to kill Lingard. Not that shocked that it's this close and that there are more people who chose the other. I'm actually a little bit surprised that it's... Yeah, okay, my mistake. I, I meant to say I'm a little bit surprised that it's not... Uh, more of a discrepancy because or a more, <laughs> more of a difference because I feel like most like I said, most people would probably uh, take the other choice because Clementine has stuck with us in season one, she needs to know you know, but then again the fact that it is this close just makes me think that yeah there there are probably a lot of players who realize that Getting Lingard to not kill himself is probably the right thing to do, you know? Alright, next. Did you tell Kate that you have feelings for her? Again, not shocked at all that 78% of players told Kate you shared her feelings. This whole story has been building to where they would end up together. Uh, we haven't seen her body yet, but it appears that that's not going to happen now. But once again, we haven't actually seen her body, and this ended just after the van blew up. I don't know, maybe she, you know, threw, her, threw herself out of the van somehow. You know, we will check that tomorrow. We will see that tomorrow when we do the final episode. Um, but... As of now, I mean, it, it's, she's probably dead, you know? We don't know. We don't know. But, yeah. 78% of players told Kate you shared her feelings. So, that is uh, pretty predictable. Next. Who did you try to save at the execution? You and 58.6% of players tried to save Ava. Not surprising. First of all, the fact that more people chose Ava tells me that, well, yeah, we have realized that Ava are, Ava is a better friend than Trip, who just goes off on us every time something doesn't go his way, you know? Um, like I said before, Kenny 2.0. Uh, and also, um, not surprising either that it's not that big of a difference because many people probably thought that Trip was well, he stuck by us he seems like a good guy yada 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 uh, okay, so next I think this is the final one did you shoot Joan or take Clint's deal? you and 43.4% of players chose to take the deal again, not a surprise because I think most people felt like, yeah, this bitch deserves it, but, you know, I tried to do, you know, what's right. We don't want people to think that we were... Oh! Lord Maximus is gifting one tier, one sub to Eaglebyte's community. They've gifted a total of 15 in the channel. Lord Maximus gifted a tier, one sub to Anissa89. Why didn't I hear that? Why, why didn't that... Okay, never mind. Congratulations, Anissa, for the tier, for the sub, and thank you very much, Lord Maxwell, for uh, doing that. It is much appreciated. Much appreciated. Oh, there it goes. 
Yeah, when we're doing this through the PS4, it there's a delay. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And congratulations, Anissa. Uh... <laughs> oh, there's like a there's like a gift icon. Ten gift subs. That is cool. I didn't know that. Uh, so, in summary, a little bit more on the uh, uh, rogue side here. I'm still more green, so I've still done more like what other people have done as well than uh, as opposed to uh, not doing more <laughs> as opposed to doing what uh, like going the other way than the other players. But there are a couple of tracks here, like the, the second one and the last one, where more pl more players did what I did not. So, yeah, good to know, good to know. All right, continue. Uh, and let me just go out into the main menu. Ow, why, why is my armpit aching? That was weird. Strange. Uh, so what are you going to do this weekend, Lord Maxwell? Are you going to, like, you know, make it so that, um, um, you know, keeping busy with your apartment? I'm guessing. Just guessing. Ugh. Oh no, my phone is almost dead. Go away. Go away. Go. Stream widgets liked my Twitter notification that I went online. Okay. Thank you, stream widgets. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, oh, some mods have wanted to get into contact with me. Okay. I'm going to pick that up uh, in a bit. Uh, gonna be painting, then putting in some nice lino. You're the handyman. You're the handyman. That's good. I'm gonna come to you when I need advice for, you know, handy stuff. <laughs> like, I have no idea what lino is. I'm thinking that means linoleum. Uh, maybe. Kinda. Sorta. Alright, as you can see here, we have one more episode to go and that is tomorrow from the gallows oh shit oh that looks like I'm or Javi is like a revolutionary look at that that is cool this was thicker than water okay yeah interesting uh how was the day hey elder always showing up when I'm like about to well, to be fair, you've actually showed up uh, um, in time most of these days. Uh, kind of like wooden floors instead of carpet. Well, that is that is kind of what I have. That is exactly what I have, I just realized. Yeah. It looks like wood, but it's like it's like a a thin sheet of like, you know, like, I I know what you mean. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I have. <laughs> you know? Uh, Elder, uh, the day has been good. The day has been good. Uh, we did episode four, and it was... Uh, it was a very, very... Uh, it was a continuation of episode... Th episode three had a lot of stuff happening. But episode three was more structured, controlled... Episode 4 was a bit more chaotic. Uh, intense. Intense. That is the perfect word. Intense episode where a lot of things happened. A lot of things. I had to decide a lot of things. Um, we basically told Kate now that we want to be a thing with her. No, actually, she brought it up with us. Like, I want to see where this is going. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I love you too. And then we kissed. And then... The episode pretty much ended with her driving a truck into a wall, and then it exploded. Oh, yeah, it had gotten, like, a Molotov cocktail thrown on it, and then the truck exploded, and 
that's where the episode ended. And I'm like, okay, did this whole love story go nowhere? So we'll see. I mean, we still haven't seen her body. Um, so tomorrow, we'll see if we actually get an answer to that. Uh, everything intensifies. Yeah. Guns blazing. Love party. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, the whole confronting Joan on the squ in the square didn't play out the way I wanted it to because the game kind of forced me to pick between two of our group that we had to sacrifice. I was constantly saying, no, this is not fair. Why can't I get a third option and say, like, no, I'm not going to choose. You shoot me instead. But the game was like, nope, pick her or hip. Pick. Do it now. You do it now! You know, like, it was like, okay, fine. I have to pick, I guess. Um, so that is another instance where this game sort of, like, went off on its own and did its own thing and, like, forced me to do something which I really didn't want to. Um... But yeah, so everybody, thank you for joining me tonight. Tomorrow we will be going through episode 5, which is the last episode of season 3, The Walking Dead, A New Frontier. And then we have Thursday, and after, because after tomorrow, console week is officially over this time. Thursday, I am thinking about maybe... This is loosely, lo right now loosely, but right now I am sort of leaning towards uh, starting doing some, some of the Blizzard classics again, because it's been many years since we did that last time, and it's either going to be either Diablo 3 or StarCraft 2, one of the two. Um, and then on Friday... I'm going to see if maybe Fartknocker is available, or maybe even Sotayumala, and maybe we can do some, some multiplayer together, unless... Oh yeah, Friday. I don't know. I am going out on Saturday, though, so... Friday is not that... Yeah, I, I actually should stay at home on Friday, then. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, by the way, guys, did you hear the news? Uh, about Ron Gilbert. He's making a new Monkey Island. It's like, what, 15 years since the tales of Monkey Island was were released. Uh, chapters that we actually still have to do, have left to do. Uh, but yeah, how many Monkey Islands do we need? Hey, come on, you can never have too many Monkey Islands, okay? Um... Uh, so many he can push out. Well, the thing is, here's the thing. Ron Gilbert was the original creator, uh, uh, along with Dave Grossman. They were the creators of Monkey Island 1 and Monkey Island 2. But the games that followed after that, beginning with Curse of Monkey Island, which is my favorite, coincidentally, uh, they didn't have anything to do with those, if I understand this correctly. Now they're doing Return to Monkey Island, which is supposed to continue the story after Monkey Island 2. And that just blows my mind. Because, okay, are they going to treat the rest of the series as, you know, like, just a dream? Or, like, are they just going to disregard all the other... In the trailer that was released yesterday, we can still see that Murray is there, the talking skull that was introduced in Monkey Island 3. So they are sort of using assets from the later games, but I'm a little bit worried because personally, I mean, I love the fact that they're going back to Monkey Island and they're continuing that, they're giving us more content, but I don't want them to, like, brush aside the whole, um, you know, follow-up of, of games that came along. Escape from Monkey Island, okay, didn't really care about that uh, that much. And Tales, uh, like I said, I haven't played yet. But Curse of Monkey Island, I am a little bit uncomfortable with the fact that it seems like Return is supposed to be 
instead of curse. I, I don't know what to feel about that. So I'm, I'm very conflicted with this news. But if you didn't know, yes, there's another Monkey Island coming out. And it's going to be released like later in 2022. Uh, so I suppose that's going to be that's going to be interesting to see. I just hope it pays due respect to the games that Ron Gilbert didn't have a hand in creating. Uh, ever thought about setting up a wish list on Amazon or something so we could gift games to you? Oh. <laughs> well, I am intrigued. Tell me more. <laughs> no, I mean... Uh, I have thought about it. It would be really cool, absolutely. I appreciate the move uh, uh, towards that. I just don't know how to do that. I need to, in that case, don't you need to be like a Amazon, like a Twitch Prime user or something like that, in order to to do that? I am the first one to admit that I have no knowledge about this at all. So I need to, like, you know teach myself about that. I need to do some research. I absolutely could do that. I just hope it doesn't look very presumptuous on my part. You know? Like, you know, here you go. I have an Amazon link you can, like, give... You know, I don't want to be that, you know, douchebag that's like, yeah, by the way, guys, you know? <laughs> Who knows how it will be? Yeah. I mean, I mean, time will tell, I suppose. No idea either. I tell you what. I'll try to remember to look that up. Because it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Quite frankly, um, uh, we did. I did get gifted just recently by Fartknocker. He bought me the game on Steam called... What was it? It was like... It looked like an anime game, but it's sort of like a platformer. It's like Retro Girl something. And I was like, immediately, you can see it in my, in the uh, uh, lobby uh, on the Discord. Like, I was asking him, like, isn't this a little bit risque to, to stream? And they were like, nah, you're fine. There's been people streaming this. It's not, I don't think it's like nudity or anything. And like, you know, I, I really don't want to like, you know, risk it, you know. So um, I might stream that. I don't know. We'll see uh, at one point. But yeah, I'll tell you this. Uh, I will look into it, and I will notify you guys on the Discord if I get a hold of, like, you know, an Amazon thingamajig, you know? I will absolutely do that. I have been actually thinking about getting my own merch. Uh, I have kind of, sort of, a design, which is, like, a logo. It says EgoByte83 in, like, orange text. And then it like it sort of like grows out of the text. It's like a, a a ginger orange beard. I got the idea from when Freppy used to visit my streams, and he called kept calling me Firebeard. I'm like, that would be pretty cool. So I guess I could show you guys on my Discord as well. Whenever I get around to do that, right now I feel like I need to crack my back and stuff. But yeah. Uh, Retro Girl, who knows? I don't know if it was, it was called Retro Girl. It was called something. Um, just thought if you like The Walking Dead Telltale Games, then you'll like The Wolf Among Us. Oh. The Wolf Among Us. Okay. I've never... Yeah, I've never heard of that one. Could be interesting. Yeah. Absolutely. Firebeard, is that an idea to some VTuber avatar? VTuber? Or you mean YouTuber? VTuber? Idea to some VTuber avatar. I don't know. No, I, but Freppy call, kept calling me Firebeard because of my ginger beard. So he like he liked to call that. He, we actually joked that I should switch my name to Firebeard instead. I mean, it would it would be it would be appropriate, I suppose. It would be kind of cool, but Eagle Byte eighty three is what I've always been, and I'm sticking with it. You know, Skull Girls. No, 
Wait, let me see. Let me see if I can get it. If I can check it out. Hang on. You can check your library through the Steam app, right? Or is that not possible? Oh, I don't even remember my account name. <laughs> I do. Well, I do. I do have it. Like, I... No, but I, I think, uh, I think it's something like Retro Girl, something like that. I don't know. Um, I mean, make a VTuber avatar and give it some Firebeard style. What is VTube? Is that like where you can like create an avatar, which like you can use as a thumbnail or something like that? Kind of like. Oh, what were they called? Those... Oh, these... Uh... Oh! You know nothing about VTubers? No, I don't. I feel left out now. I don't know. Thank you very much for for that support, Lord Maxwell. How many, how many bits are that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Did you have to do it like 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Thank you for those 29 bits. Very nice. I might have actually counted wrong. But thank you. It might be 30. I don't know. Uh, thank you very much for your continued support. It is much appreciated. Uh, and despite the fact that you... I know you need to like tone that down and there goes the alert yeah thank you <laughs> oh it is 29 hey, hey look at that i made it i made it um vtubers have these virtual avatars and they stream so instead of looking at a human body we got virtual faces to look at instead oh you mean like tremor uses yeah Tremor has this, like, I think he has, like, a wolf avatar because he doesn't want people to see his appearance. That's true. That's true. He, he told me why he didn't want people to see him as well. I'm not going to, like, say that online. But, yeah, I know. So he's he always uses that wolf. That's true. Okay. But if you have that... Don't you need, like, a green screen for that? Because I see people sitting, you know, in front of their... You know? You know what I mean? Like, can be kind of neat if you want to eat something while streaming without letting anyone actually see it. Yeah. I had these beats before I got the keys to the flat, so in a month's time, I'll be being more careful. Okay, well, thank you anyway. Thank you for your continued support. It is much appreciated. You just need a face cam thingy and the related software. What is a face cam thingy? Which can face track and the like. Okay. Well, I do have a cam. You know? Not this one. This is PS2 cam. PS2 cam? No, this is definitely not PS2. This is PS4 cam. Uh, did the PS2 actually have a cam? I wonder. I didn't have a PS2 when it was like I did have I do have a PS2 but I don't know if that it if it had that. Uh, you already got a face cam, so you pretty much just need the software and some avatar. Okay, cool, cool. But I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. I mean, come on. I look fabulous. <laughs> but I'll still support you more than others because they have massive whales that give their life savings for streamers oh yeah i understand yeah well anything you can support me with is highly appreciated you know that man and i will never like you know demand or force or anything it is always like just just a boon um <laughs> whales that give their lives well can your beard burn well, no elder well yeah, yeah it probably can but it wouldn't be healthy it wouldn't be good for me okay <laughs> you guys you 
guys are awesome. Let me just do the ad real quick here for my Discord. Now that we were talking about me uh, telling you about how the... Yeah, I know, Firebeat. Yeah, I know, I know. I got the reference, okay? I got the joke. <laughs> Discord. All right, guys. So <laughs> if you want to, you can always join me on my Discord, which I is the place where I will actually you know, show you my logo when I find it and uh, and things like that and I will always give you the latest news and updates regarding my channel the official discord is reachable through this link uh, that is the uh, discord eagle land which is the official discord of this channel please be advised that if you do join it is highly recommended that you join your twitch account with your discord account in order to get the proper roles there Lots I love. Yes, absolutely, Lord Maxwell. I'm happy for you, and I hope you have a continued great week. Much appreciated for your continued support. Absolutely. And Elder, well, if I would really get into such stuff, I would make a garbage can avatar. That way I would have a legitimate way to talk trash. I'm so sorry that I don't have my sound pad on my laptop here, or on my PS4 here, because I would be doing a badoom dish now. But you know that. Elder, also, thank you for joining me tonight. It's been a lot of fun. Guys, I hope to see you tomorrow again. Uh, if you can't, I understand, even though my heart is going to be breaking. But thank you for joining me, and uh, see you next time. Until then, remember to stay safe, mind social distance, and always keep the retro legacy alive. This is Eaglebyte83, wishing you the best. Take care. Mwah! Have a good, good Wednesday. <laughs> good Wednesday. Goodbye, guys.